everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited <laughs> for this video. This is one of those like really niche videos that I make every year. And I think there's like a small handful of you who are as equally passionate <laughs> about this as I am. And the rest of you are like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, there's Mona going. But basically, I use this to-do list app called Todoist and at the beginning of every year they give you a year in review. Think of it as your Spotify wrapped but for your to-do list and I am so here for it. I love this. I think this is my third year in a row doing this and I'm the kind of person who like will every so often like change productivity systems that I'm using once like I feel like I've outgrown one and I'm like it's not doing what I want and then I find something new and I'm like oh this is working now but it's also just like as my brain changes and as my systems and needs change I've been using this for like three years now but last year there was a big change in how I use this app because I started calendar blocking last year and I made a whole bunch of videos about that where I would put my tasks on my calendar because they were like time sensitive and they would appear in my calendar as like any other kind of commitment would but I was still using Todoist because I liked being able to visually see it on my calendar but I also liked being able to see like the list and be able to tick things off as well and I was manually inputting these things in both places until I discovered that Todoist has a Google Calendar integration. Hannah how did you not figure this out before? But now it's super easy, like I love it. Like I put it in Google Calendar or I put it in Todoist and it's then it's in both places. So it's even more suiting my needs now and I love that. But yes, let's see how productive I was in 2021. I think this is gonna be interesting, especially because I took like two months off uh, when I was sick in my first trimester and it'll be interesting to see <laughs> the statistics of how that <laughs> lines up in this. So let's dive in. Hannah's 2021 journey with Todoist is complete. Before you turn over a new leaf, we invite you to pause for a moment to reflect on Hannah's past year. Even if things didn't unfold as expected in 2021, there's plenty of fertile ground. I'm not kidding, that's what it says. <laughs> ahead in the year to come for everyone. That's hilarious. I was like showing Dan my bump the, <laughs> the other night and I was like, do I look fertile? He's like, you're not fertile at all. You're like, you're so unfertile right now because you've already been fertilized. <laughs> it's a very silly conversation. Fertile ground, let's go. The number of tasks they completed during the year, 1,375. How many is that on average per day? A quick calculation, 3.76. So that's on average how many tasks I was doing a day. Oh no, but that includes weekends. Eh, more than that because there ain't tasks on weekends. Oh, wait, of course they figure out the average for you. That's an average of three tasks per day, 25 tasks per week. Okay, that's easier to figure out. That's five tasks per day during weekdays and 114 tasks per month. Lovely. Their most active month was April. I like the word active instead of productive. That's nice. They completed 171 tasks that month. Ooh, what was happening in April? Now I'm like trying to <laughs> cast my mind back. Maybe it's just like, that's when you get into the groove of things after like <laughs> the beginning of the year. I have no idea. But let's have a look. So July was also a really low month because I think I took like two weeks off in July. That was like a planned break. That was a planned like holiday, but yes, then we dipped in September and October. Those are the two months that I was feeling the worst to 76 and 79. And then even November, December is also like really low because I was still like easing myself back into things and like taking things very easy. Mondays brought out the best in them. Yes, I'm a Monday gal. With a total of 306 completed tasks on that day of the week. This is really interesting to see as well because obviously this was the year that I did a four day work week experiment. And I think I did that in July, August time was when I did that. And then it was something that I tried to continue doing for the rest of the year as well. So like it literally just goes down like, oh, th Thursday is more than Wednesday though. But it's like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, 
and then Friday and then apparently I do still do some tasks on Saturday and Sunday but I use Todoist for like personal errands and things as well as reminders but yeah that's funny because that graph as well is just like beginning of the week and then <laughs> as we get to the end of the week their energy often peaked at 10 a.m it was the time of day they completed the most tasks that makes sense i consider myself a morning person apparently there's like two tasks that i completed between uh, midnight and 2 a.m what were they seven tasks between 6 and 8 a.m no idea. You can definitely clearly see that I am a morning person, like from this as well. So it's like most of my tasks are happening between like, yeah, 10 and six, <laughs> but mostly in the morning. They were active on 277 days of the year. Oh, okay. So there are some days where there was just like zero things to do that day. How many days is that? Three, six, five, minus two, seven, seven. That is 88 days that I did fuck all. So the really light ones, no tasks were completed. And then the middle color ones, one to four tasks. And then the dark color is five plus tasks completed that day. And as you can see, it gets real pale <laughs> towards the end of the year. Cool. Oh, look at those little worker ants. I love the animations in this. Their most active day of the year was December 16th. I completed 16 tasks that day alone. What was I doing that day? Was I in like, I feel like I was in like end of year crunch mode after having time off and just being like, I've got so much I need to do. I don't know. I honestly don't know what happened that day. My calendar is empty in the morning. <laughs> oh, it was probably like lots of tiny little things that didn't go that didn't sync to my Google Calendar. So it only syncs to my Google Calendar if I give it a time in Todoist, but I still add tasks that don't need like a specific time if it's just something like small. But that makes sense because Friday the 17th was mine and my assistant's like last day of work before Christmas. And so clearly like on that Thursday was just like <laughs> getting everything done and i think there might have been some tasks that day that had subtasks and i don't know if todoist counts like subtasks that you add in as a task i i don't know they postponed the most tasks on tuesdays and at 2 p.m i don't know maybe that's because i always like front load my week i always like put the most stuff on a monday and a tuesday and then I tend to kind of like have a bit more flexibility the rest of the week. So if things don't get done in those two days, maybe that's why things then get bumped. I don't know. And then my longest daily streak was 26 days from the 22nd of January to the 16th of Feb. And my daily goal is to complete five tasks a day. I don't actually care about that. I think when I first like set up Todoist like three years ago, it was like, what's your daily goal? And I was just like five, whatever. But yeah. Okay, that was my, my longest daily streak. Their longest weekly streak was seven weeks from the 14th of March to the 1st of May. And apparently my weekly goal was 30 tasks a week. And then I hit a bunch of karma points, which is like, I don't know, I think to do is like gamify it slightly where you get these things called karma points, but I don't really pay attention to that. But apparently it means that I ended the year as a grandmaster. And apparently I'm just gonna need another 22,316 points to reach enlightened. So that's gonna be real easy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in the top 8%. All of their efforts put them in the top 150,000 of all Todoist users in 2021. I'm in the top 8%. Is that something to be proud of? There we go. That's it. <laughs> that is my Todoist year in review. That was how productive or active, shall we say, I was in terms of completing tasks on my to-do list last year. I really love this. It's very silly and fun. Are you a user of Todoist? What percentage of their users are you in? Hey, how many tasks did you complete this year? I hope that you're well. Thanks so much for watching and indulging my very silly productivity <laughs> passions. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.